It's a great day for America. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. I love Friday. Yeah. I do like a Friday. It's a great weekend for America because this weekend is the uh, New York City Marathon. Now, uh, you, you heard of New York? It's a big city on East. <laughs> Lovely place. And it's the New York City Marathon this weekend. You've got to be in amazing shape to run that, especially if you live in L.A. because it's 3,000 miles just to get to the starting line. 26.2 miles. 26.2 miles to run. That is a hell of a long way. I mean, I get winded walking to the bathroom, you know. Yeah, in the middle of the night, I can go to the fridge for a fudgicle and a wheel of cheese. It takes that. 26.2 miles. I mean, 26 miles isn't enough. That's not enough punishment. The point two is just that extra kick in the nuts, isn't it? Why the point two? Who makes this thing up? 26.2 miles. I always wanted to run a marathon. I've always wanted to run a marathon. Not enough to actually run one, but I've always wanted. I, uh, I, I, do, I, run, I do run. I run on a treadmill here at work. You know, not, not for exercise, just to, you know, for the power and the generator. I, I'm an immigrant, you know. I've got to go. Good job. CBS said, no, 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 you have to until you get your actual citizenship too. And they got me selling oranges by the freeway as well. I, CBS, <laughs> Tiffany, Tiffany Network Oranges. 37,000 37, people will run the New York City Marathon. That's, I should try it, really, shouldn't I? I mean, 37,000 people. I mean, even Puff Diddley, uh, Diddley Puff, whatever he is. <laughs> he's doing it. He's doing it. Now, you may not have heard about it because, you know, he shies away from publicity, but he's doing it. <laughs> he's keeping it quiet. You know, he, he likes to do things on the down low. But I am... Um, <laughs> some, some of the people who are running in this marathon are so in shape, they run in costume. You see that? I mean, 20, in a costume, 26 miles in a costume. That's another reason not to run. I, I, I wouldn't do it. No, I'm afraid of getting lapped by some guy dressed as a banana or something. <laughs> the humiliation in that. There's, and there's no motivation to catch up. I hate bananas. Yeah, I, uh, a, a guy in a pizza costume, I'd chase him. Do you remember in, in 1980, that woman that cheated in the Boston Marathon? And she took the subway. She took the subway and she won. But she got caught. I, I mean, I don't consider that cheating. I call it resourceful. But the, I, how hard was it to figure out that, you know, she was cheating? I mean, she crossed the finishing line smoking a cigarette, eating a pie. Wait a minute. Her. I don't think she really ran. Still had the ticket stub. Now, Marathon, the, the name of the Marathon, it comes from, uh, it's, a, it's a plain, it's a big area outside of Athens in Greece. It's the site of a, of a famous Greek victory over the Persians. Now, I, 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 uh, I've never run a marathon, uh, but I have been to a Greek restaurant. Um, <laughs> and when I went there to the Greek restaurant, I parked very far away in the parking lot. <laughs> so it was, I don't know. Anyway... The guy who first ran the marathon was uh, running, he was a soldier, he was running to deliver good news about a war victory. So I think anyone who runs a marathon should be required to deliver good news. They should, that should be part of it. If you win, you should be, good news everyone! <laughs> Unemployment is down! <laughs> <laughs> Madonna's doing dance music again, good news! <laughs> the, first, the first guy, that guy who ran the first marathon, he died! Right after he delivered the message. about the, He died. It's the only sport to become popular after the first person that tried it died. <laughs> and be embarrassing too. He was probably dressed as a banana. Eh? <laughs> Insult to injury. And probably that's what happened. After the first bungee jump as well, somebody must have died. A couple of them, I think. And what other sports? Uh, dwarf tossing. <laughs> It's not, it's not really a sport, is it, dwarf to I, I've, never, I've never tossed a dwarf. I was friendly with a sailor once, but he was quite tall. I, uh, I... Wow. Well, I, I, I keep that in the down low. Anyway, the closest I came... <laughs> the closest I came to the New York City Marathon... I, I used to live in the East Village in New York. And one Sunday morning, I was coming home from a bar. It was about 7 a.m. It, 
in the old days. And, uh, and I'm coming home from the bar, like, and I saw these people running with numbers on their chests. I'm like, where's everybody going? What? I was like, and a guy dressed as a banana running by. I, like, I got to stop. Actually, it's New York. You're like, oh, guy dressed as a banana. Okay. See, the, my problem with any kind of exercise is, is the boredom. Exercise is boring. It is. It's bo I like running and it's boring. Going to the gym is boring. People who go to gyms are boring. <laughs> Come on, yeah. You know what I don't get? Women that wear makeup to the gym. What's that? What, what's that for? You know what? I, I hardly wear any. Just something to pop my eyes. A little mascara. <laughs> And those guys that never leave their locker room, that's kind of... <laughs> can't, can't you have a shower at home? What, what the... Do you know what's Pilates? Have you tried the Pilates? That's very, very boring. How, how can you make a circus activity boring? It's, uh, you know that equipment, the Pilates equipment? Oh, have you seen that stuff, the Pilates equipment? It's like a medieval torture thing. A medieval torture bed. I tried Pilates once. I confessed to being a witch. That's how... <laughs> It's how bad it is. Everybody that does, everybody I've seen. <laughs> everybody I've seen that does Pilates, they've all got very stringy shoulders and poppy out eyes. <laughs> Look, you must try Pilates, it's great. <laughs> no, try it, it's great. I swear by it. They all look like that wee creature in Lord of the Rings, that golem thing. <laughs> you like my abs, my precious? No. <laughs> Creepy. You know what? You know what's popular here in Los Angeles is the uh, power yoga. The Ashtanga yoga, it's called. It's very popular here. Now, I talked to a guy about, uh, from India about this Ashtanga yoga. And uh, he says, and he's from India, so he knows. Because that's where yoga's from. So he knows. He said that the Ashtanga yoga comes, it's not an old yoga thing at all. It was when the, uh, the Indians... At the time of the British Raj, they were watching the soldiers, the British soldiers that were doing the...